and the Joy Machine. Woo! You always told me you wanted, wanted. You always told me you wanted, wanted. Little girl, 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 Traditional stuff on it too, but I'm never yeah. talking out on it. Just really, I'm the only one at this point. 
Yeah, so what, 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 like, turned you on to the, this style of punk? Um, well, I love the Ramones. I don't like their politics, but I love their sound. What's their politics? Oh, uh, they're pretty conservative. I mean, if you like, they're pretty, like, homophobic. But they started playing with a, a lesbian band at one point. I feel like they got with them. I love them. This is their lyrics and stuff. And, like, I mean, I love the Ramones, and I love the Ramones t-shirt, but their insignia is so much like the fucking U.S. eagle. It's like presidential seal. It's like, sorry. Amy Ray's on solo work. I love PJ Harvey. Yeah, I think I was influenced most by Billy Bragg, yeah. though. Because, yeah, I can uh, see Billy Bragg a yeah. lot. Because, like, you know, I, I say what I like on my new album, which uh, looks like this. I have one in my bag, actually. On my new album that just came out March 27th, and I have my CD release um, April 27th at Rockwood. So March Stage 27th, day. April 27th. Actually, it came out March 20th. I got the 27th. Oh. Yeah, but it's the but the gig is April 27th Excellent. at Rockwood. It's an early on Conchetta Bede is going to open for me, and I played seven. Um, and tickets are just tickets are just five dollars in advance. Good for you. But um, but anyway, on the album, everyone loves Rockwood. Yeah, I do like. And Stage Three is great because. Yeah. Um, but anyway, on the album, it's like fully produced, you know, full blown uh, punk music on the album. Yeah. Uh, well, there's drum kit, there's bass, there's electric guitar. And how many do you play? Um, I'm, I play yeah. dulcimer. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Um, I play some other things, but not like, you know, I play some tin with some. You play in bands too. Um, I, I have like a group of people that work with me on and, and off. Yeah, and, you like and, that, huh? So, <laughs> yeah. You just play in bands. So I kind of, you know, like um, collaborate with different people. Like for this show, uh, Tina Kinnaman, who's a really great soft player on the album. Oh, I love soft yeah, players. Yeah, it's yeah. It's so yeah. cool. I've seen yeah. people play the song. <laughs> yeah, she's an amazing soft player. She's from Berlin. And on the album, Fuck You, Dad, the song has saw on now, it. Is that appropriate? Like, is that does that song mean, is it personal or is it impersonal? Is that to your dad? Um, well, I wouldn't say it's to my dad, but it's a it is to the father up there. Well, I'll tell you why I wrote that song. There's an annual event in Brooklyn called the Anti-Patriarchal Father's Day Festival, otherwise known as Fuck You, Dad. And, um, oh, is that the theme song from the festival? Yeah, so they were asking for submissions, for and I wrote that for the festival. For you. Yeah, oh, they took so, it. Yeah, I performed it last year. So, uh, But it's on the album. And, um, it's got Do you like it. your dad? Yeah. Well, I have two dads, because my parents divorced when I was like five. Okay. So I totally him to He's one who really Okay, that's and, and he's awesome, and he's probably going to be the show, actually. Um, so Bio. that fuck you dad's not going to No, it's for Bio Dad. Oh. And, you know, I just want to say, it's, Bio not, dad. it's not, like, anti-dad. What it's really about is, like, you getting to choose your own identity and not have someone else. Like, I don't know if you got the lyrics, but it's all about, you know, like, from an early age, I got a lot of pressure from him. You know, conforming okay. stuff. Like, you know, you've got to cross your legs, you've got to carry a bag, you've got to do this, you got to do that. And it's like, it's not me. So that's why it's like, fuck you, dad. It's right, like, were you, you a know, tomboy always, like, yes. as a little kid? Yeah. Did you play with G.I. Joe or Barbie? It wasn't that kind of tomboy. I was more like, um, I had no interest in dolls. Cars and dresses, skirts. Um, did you have to, were you allowed to wear pants in school when you were little? Yeah, I wore pants. Always. But I mean, you know, like there's um, there's some pictures of me when I was a kid, like wearing like a dress. dress. Oh. I don't think I'm in drag, actually. Yeah. <laughs> when I wear a dress, I still look like I'm in drag. Do you always go by DK? I do, yeah. You do? Yeah. Is your D like a girly name? No. It's not. Actually, it's an like androgynous name. and it's dot? A, it's a, no, it's an it's a old Irish name, and in Ireland, um, it's a man's name. Oh. So I always so get how, letters. So you were predestined? I guess so. Are you Irish? So. I'm a little Irish. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So the Billy Bragg does bring the D to within you. I guess. I don't know. But I'm a lot of things. I'm here from the Chop Suey. So I oh, just really? like Billy Bragg. I've always been a Billy Bragg fan. Yeah. So... But, um, but by the way, I also run a show here in the month of Brandon Saloon. Let's give a shout out to Brandon. Yeah, we love Brandon Saloon. Um, the next Woo! show is April 15th, um, and it's called the Songbird Series. That's five days from now. Yeah, and we have a really great show this what month. Do you, what, do you, what kind of show is it like? Well, it's focused on women artists because I believe it's like my arts activism. I believe do they have to be gender specific? As long as you identify as a woman. Like I could play? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. 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 I'
are you from my kids? It's, it's not a you know it's not a niche fast thing. It's not like you, you know. Get no, you have to get a lot of straight women perform it. Okay, and some of them are queer, but some of them are straight. Yeah, the but whole straight thing can is. be queer. I never understand that. This whole thing I learned from my kids because they stu- every college now doesn't mm-hmm. even teach gender. Oh, everyone's oh queer. my gosh, my oh, kids! Queer. They tell me all these things I never heard about. Like there's like twenty million things that do you know them all? All the gender the alphabet soup. Oh, oh gender. There's like eight thousand of them. <laughs> and then like my I've never heard of so many. And then like as when my daughters people get to pick their pronoun, like mm-hmm. I can be they, her, or Z. Yeah. You can do whatever you, you can be they, like Z E. You don't <laughs> want a pronoun like for he, she, her. It, you I don't know, but it's pretty interesting. I like it though. It's just giving people to be their the identity that they want. Like it's not mm-hmm. predestined. And that I think is cool. You just feel to be the way you want, like just wear what you want, express yourself the way you want. Yeah, be like, you. Like, yeah, why put people in the box? It's like that's freaking boring. I so, but anyway, April 15th, the Songbridge series is focused That's on... That's tax day. It is tax day. So get your freaking taxes, but don't. And then this woman is an amazing singer-songwriter. Lee is coming, and the other person is a singer-songwriter, and Bill Smurf. So it's a really good show, but it's the third Wednesday of every month. We take the summer off. And then I'll be back here playing April 18th for the Queer Country Monthly. Good for you. And then April 27th is my CD release at Rockboard. And again, the tickets are just five bucks in advance. April 27th. If you go to the website, um, DK and the Joy Machine, you get them there. And if you get a ticket in advance and you have that ticket stuff, you can get five dollars off the ticket price off any of the merch table. Like these really cool drawings for t-shirts and the CDs and everything. Good for you. So, so who, who is one of your big inspirations to this day, like, just woman-wise? I mean, like, musically? No. Just, it, well, yeah. Joan of Arc. Oh, um, okay. Cool. But why? Patti Smith. Okay. Uh, why Joan of Well, because she, uh, I mean, she epitomizes what we were talking about. You know, like, she defies cultural norms. Stood up to enormous pressures and even killed her. Yeah. But, you know, they don't think they'll all the good ones? I guess all the, you know, the only good is only good then. Right. So, yeah. But uh, yeah, so she's definitely one of my role models, and um, and and Patty Smith's just awesome. Yeah, and, like you know, like who doesn't like Patty Smith? That's like who doesn't like chocolate? Anyone have one person in the world who's like chocolate? You gotta like Patty Smith. Yeah, she's so playing cool. at the um, East Village. I know, Fire. I know. That's that's great. Oh, yeah, it was not her birthday show. It's awesome. David Peel is playing too. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's great. Patty's yeah. Patty is like the mother her. of everyone. I know, and I love a lot of things that she did. My favorite quote from her is, all I wanted to do was create something beautiful. And she really has beautiful boyfriends. Have you ever seen her boyfriend? Oh, my God. I don't know how I her boyfriend. There you go. Madonna, I think, are neck and neck, exactly. <laughs> they are. I'm surprised they haven't collaborated. So yet. I didn't get to ask you my trivia question, since oh. you're asking about the Bell Smurf. Are we out of time? No, because we have to ask you one more thing, because it's National Cinnamon Croissant Day. Um, and, um, would you like to have some of this? I don't do oh, Here, we have cinnamon candy for Thank you so much. Um, we need to get a skeleton from your closet. Oh. <laughs> you mean singing fuck you to have those in your mouth? No. Uh, so, like, what kind of... Something naughty. <laughs> Something naughty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think what I've done is naughty, like not paying my taxes. I thought that naughty. Right. I've done a lot of hitchhiking, but did, uh, did anything ever come bad from hitchhiking? Actually, I hitchhiked for years when I was in New York. Actually, um, one time I hitchhiked all the way from London up to Loch Ness. Wow! And what was really cool about that? Well, here's the interesting thing. Every time I got a lift, which is what they call a, a ride in Britain and Ireland. I would ask the person, so do you believe in the Loch Ness Monster? I'm going to Loch Ness. And what's interesting is everyone around London said no. But the closer I got to Loch Ness, people increasingly said, oh yeah, it definitely exists. And then the closer I got to Loch Ness, like my uncle saw him last week. You know what I mean? So Scotland definitely believe in it. Do you? Um, I think it's possible. Probably like a leftover from something that didn't evolve, like some really bad time or something. I think it's totally possible. So the more you call the same there, one? Like well, it's probably reproduced. Oh, it has to be produced. Yeah, it's so there's more than one. Yeah, it's a really deep lake. Yeah. So they just stay down below, you know? And then they come up on occasion. Yeah. They're shy. 
Yeah. But now I believe in them. I mean, why, why not? Well, who are we to think that we're the only things that exist? Yeah. That's kind of aliens. No way. You don't think so? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I believe everything and nothing everybody tells me because I never know which is right or wrong. Yeah. So you wanted to tell a dulcimer thing real quick? Oh, well, a trivia thing. Because <laughs> you were asking what this instrument is from, yes. and I was saying it's one or two instruments from the, yes. from the United States. This is from North America. I was going to ask you, do you know what the other one is? Because it's no. two. Does anyone know? A banjo. Yeah. Oh. But what's really interesting, yeah. and I love how this. And um, <laughs> there's, uh, there's a really great video oh, 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 oh. called uh, Lay Down in Your Heart, where, um, oh, what's his name? I don't know his name, he's a really famous banjo player. Um, Fell Flap. Oh, I love that. Yes, my artists. friend worked on that film. It's a beautiful film. Yeah. So no one signed up for the dulcimer. I probably would not be as interesting as it sounds like. But what I find interesting is, to my opinion, what makes American music so rich is uh, juxtaposition to African culture. Well, that's the blues. Yeah. Every, oh, everything. We would not have that any is American music. That is American I know. music. I know. So, I had to take this class, a workshop once on, on blues and jazz in Lincoln Center, and um, went in Morales, mm -hmm. who gave it, and um, it was all about American music, and that's what yeah. it is. And it's yeah. all from like uh, New Orleans. Those two cultures blues. colliding, basically. Yeah. It's amazing what's come out of it. And exactly. In my yeah. opinion, with all due respect to every jazz other music. American. Yeah. You think about all the great forms, rock and roll, rockabilly, jazz, it blues, all came from there. that all came from that. So it's really interesting, these two folk instruments, one has origins in Europe and one in, in Africa. Yeah. And it's just like they developed, it's kind of like basketball and football, they're kind of the only American instruments. So. Cool. Well, thanks so much for the yeah, education. Yeah, sure. Yeah, thanks The for education the, from DK. I know they didn't give you much of a skeleton, but I wasn't prepared for that, so I had to like dig a little deeper for the skeleton. Okay, skeletons. so next time when you come back, okay. and, and you did sing Fuck Me Dad. That was pretty big. And you did give a lot of yourself. So okay, thank great. you so much thank for you. coming. Thanks, and I uh, hope everyone will be on my Facebook page, DK yeah, and Joy Machine, and my yeah. website. Yeah. And uh, come to my show. I'm going to be doing a lot of different stuff in yeah. Americana. What else my you stuff? Like? Oh, I can teach you this. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'll do this one. Thank you. Okay, great. We'll be back. we got lots more, right? Right, darling? Wait to unplug. Oh, we got to put it down. I need someone. Remind me. Honky. This. Is. Home. Through the eyes of.